what is up guys jordan here in today's video we're going to be going over the m1 finance portfolio and man oh man um it's looking pretty bad so sorry i haven't made a video in a while i have been busy just doing life and then uh getting caught up in this whole stock market thing i just uh kind of took me off guard so um I just wanted to come back. I actually just went ahead and got a new camera uh, picture right here. So uh, I'm gonna get back into it. I'm gonna be posting more videos. Uh, I don't know how frequently, probably once a week, twice a week, uh, somewhere in that category, but uh, I'm gonna get back into it. And I wanted to show you guys, you know, all aspects of this portfolio and these portfolios. And right now, um, literally just a month ago, the portfolios were definitely in the green and now they're kind of in the red so um i wanted to just show you guys all this and uh hopefully you guys can take something away from this and i'm going to be showing you guys what i'm doing during this whole market crash um due to this crazy thing as you guys may know um going around and it's causing everybody to panic and literally stores are empty and don't have water food or <laughs> anything um so it's kind of crazy. I don't know how long this will last, but we were honestly due for this whole correction. And uh, this is what they took. So it is what it is. It kind of took me off guard, like I said, and I didn't really have the cash uh, ready to deploy um, because I was throwing most of the cash that I had in the market during, you know, when it was going up. So, but you know, my, my style of an investing is, um, buy and hold so i don't ever really plan on selling any of this and um, i'm gonna be buying uh, i made a video buying all three seasons you know you got the top of the market kind of fair value and then when you're in a bear market like we are in right now um so sorry if i keep looking kind of left and right the screen is actually right there and then the lens is right there so it's a pretty cool camera it has a little mic I put the mic on top but yeah, I got the laptop pulled up right here and we're gonna jump into the M1 Finance portfolio. I'm gonna be making a video about the Robinhood portfolio soon too. I know you guys wanna see that one probably and uh, that one's looking pretty bad too. But um, during this whole recession thing, I actually, so on Robinhood, I put probably like $1,000 in and then I used probably about another $1,000 of margin, so. I put in a, a $2,000, I guess you could say. So that one's looking pretty good. I bought some some stocks that I really love. So I'll show you guys that in a few. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the M1 Finance portfolio. Boom, so we're looking at it right here. We are down pretty bad. So we're down almost 40% on the entire portfolio. Uh, this whole correction just came out of nowhere. Um, and it took everybody by, you know, off guard. So we're down um, $256.92. So we're down pretty bad. So just look at the one month chart. This is kind of crazy. So 34% in one month. But if we go back right around here, so February 20th, we were almost at $900. So literally that was the peak of the market. Um, and nobody predicted this, which was kind of crazy, but we were due for it. We were on a bull market run for like 11 years, and we definitely needed something like this to kind of bring the markets back down to where they need to be. And this just makes such a great buying opportunity. So right now, what I'm trying to do is, you know, uh, make as much money as I can and deploy it. So, and then I, I did turn on a little margin, so I'll just pay that off um, as time goes on, but yeah guys this um this portfolio is getting destroyed so but right now i have it set to ten dollars a week uh, i might go ahead and bump that up a little bit because you know you want to take advantage of these times these are all you know some of the same companies you know um at least the companies that i hold in this portfolio none of them have slashed the dividend at least yet so i mean it's the same company just on sale this is how i look at it um oh one day we're actually so that's i think we're up a little bit for the one day chart but yeah i mean real estate technology so these are all the stocks 
Uh, you guys can go look at my previous videos. I have a lot of coverage, you know, throughout the whole market. Um, and I wanted to, you know, be honest and show you guys the whole downside of the market. This is this is what it's all about. Um, these portfolios do swing, and this is what is this is what it does. This is the stock market. So um, AT and T, Microsoft, Verizon, Cisco, Apple, um, all these great companies. I look at it as they're on sale, and um, you know it's the same companies. But what's happening is a lot of companies are closing down all their big factories, which is, you know, not making any products. And then the consumers are scared and they're at home, um, which I mean, fair for the, you know, that's fair to say uh, you got to quarantine the government's quarantining everybody. So it's just a crazy situation we're in. Um, I don't know how long this will last, like I said, but we shall see. But if we go to one of my favorite things, so dividends. So this is why I started both of these portfolios is due to dividends. You know, during this bad time of the market, we, I still get paid. So I get paid all these dividends. So all throughout March, you know, just money coming into the portfolio that's being reinvested into the portfolio, buying these lower cost um, shares, which, you know, I would have bought the same thing if the portfolio was up. So. It's pretty cool um, to see all these come in. And then Robinhood, obviously still getting, um, that's my bigger account. So I'm getting more more money um, in the form of dividends through that account. But one of my goals this year was to probably get my dividends to around maybe like $100 a month. I think that would be a perfect goal for my Robinhood portfolio. Um, it is kind of out there, but I think I can do it. And, um, you know, we shall see. But if you guys have the Robinhood app, literally, I swear, all you get is those notifications. Let's see if it'll focus. Uh, look at that. So all you get is those notifications of just stocks going down, stocks going down. So it's kind of, it's crazy. Um, but this is all short term, you know, and a few years we will just be like, wow, that was such a great opportunity to buy. Um, but that's just that's just what it is. So, as you guys can see, all the all the great dividend paying companies are still paying those dividends. At least from the portfolio, the the companies that I hold, they're still paying those dividends. I will leave this portfolio in the link in the description. You guys can download it, check it out. Let me know what you think. And um, if you don't have an M1 Finance portfolio, this is a great time to go ahead and get into the whole investing world. Um, I'm not a financial advisor, but this is a great time, you know, if I could uh, redo it, I would definitely get in right now, at least get interested in it um, and toss some money into it. You know, this is a great time because really in about a year, this will probably be gone. We will not be talking about this really. So <laughs> it's, it's kind of crazy, but literally the whole, all these uh, different slices are down, real estate, technology's down, medical's down. Um, the one that got hit the hardest, let's see, was real estate. Wow, so that's so I think that's APLE. Yep. So APLE got hit bad. This stock was like at five dollars a share. Yeah, it's at five dollars and thirty two cents. I bought in around sixteen dollars, so that's one third, uh, two thirds. That's pretty crazy. So Tesla, as you guys may know, I love that company, and I went ahead and bought some more of that. Um, and I'll be showing that off. I, I buy that into the uh, Robinhood portfolio. So I'll show that off when I make that video. But check out Realty Income. This is probably one of my second or first. It's kind of back and forth between Tesla. I am a dividend investor, like I said, but ooh, it's kind of hard to tell um, which one I like more, I guess you could say. But Realty Income definitely is up there and I love them a lot. So yeah, um, Realty Income is probably uh, it, it goes back and forth between my favorite and my second favorite that and Tesla. I'm a dividend investor, but um, Tesla is just a, such a disruptive company that I just had to learn about it and get into it. And um, now I'm in it. So a realty income is a, re, a real estate investment trust and they go out and acquire properties such as Walgreens, um, the Amazon facility buildings, 
uh, all these big factories that just build stuff or like 7-Elevens and stuff like that. Bunch of different um, companies that's very diversified and they actually own the building and then they lease it back to the um, tenant. So it will be Walgreens or 7-Eleven or Amazon for like 10 years. And that's pretty crazy because, you know, we don't have, I mean, we have a lot of land, but we only have so much land. So, and they own a lot and they're looking at actually acquiring property in the UK. So right now I believe they're only in the US um, from the research I've done, I might be wrong, but they're looking at going out into the um, U, uh, the UK, which is uh, pretty good. So great diversification. I love them and I plan on buying more of them in the upcoming future. This is probably on my Robinhood portfolio, maybe my third biggest position or fourth right around there. And this is probably going to be my second biggest position that Tesla's probably my first um, and will be my first for a very long time. But Realty Income is one of my one of my favorites. So yeah, I just want to show you guys the portfolio. Not much to it, but it's just red. Um, it's a lot going on in the market right now. Um, just buy and hold. Uh, don't do anything out of fear. Just buy the same companies you were buying. It's just on discount. It does take a lot on you um, to just keep waking up and seeing your accounts down, but it is what it is. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens at the end of all this. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button and uh, tell me what you think about this camera. This is the Nikon D6, D5600 and I have the Rode mic on top. So let me get the audio quality and then I have the MacBook. So, so yeah, see y'all in the next one. Peace.